Man, I seen the thumbnail and I seen the title, bro. I had to come click on it. Woman's first job, first day on, at the job turns into disaster. I seen they had her on the day of stretchers. I was like, what the hell didn't happen? But shit. Make sure I like and subscribe and let's find out what happened to her. Police were dispatched to a call regarding an overdose at a nursing home in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Bro, what is going on out in Wisconsin, bro? Why is there so much activity going on in Wisconsin, bro? Like, damn, ain't it snowing and shit? Y'all need to chill out. Who the hell's overdosing a at a nursing home? A new employee had arrived for a job orientation and started experiencing an overdose. That's so all I don't even be trusting in nursing homes, bro. My, my family, we ain't into that bullshit. Look, man, we ain't into that just putting somebody in the home and leaving them there. Nah, that ain't for us, bro. If you old and can't take care of yourself, you're going you gonna to live with us and we're going to make sure you straight. Cause I'm not trusting none of these people because they don't, they don't care about them like that. You might got a few that do, but the others don't. And I'm not about to have my family member up in there getting mistreated, getting gave medication and all this shit, just sitting there waiting around for them to, man. She nah. informed the staff that she had consumed crack cocaine and was trying to harm herself. However, upon investigation, it was later discovered that she was heavily intoxicated with pure vanilla extract. What? She was at a complete new employee orientation, possibly. Uh, hey, where's it going on? What's going on? Possibly an overdose going on here? Can you just direct the other officers coming as well as fire? Oh, wait, are she admitted that she <coughs> did crap. Is she talking? Is she alert? How the hell you come on the first day you want to get lit off crack and vanilla extract? Bitch, what the hell, bro? And hey, this is who y'all y'all want? Man, hell no, bitch. You're not taking care of my family members. 112. We're in the Human Resources Conference room. She's alert and breathing. She also wants to. Can we see her? Yep. Sure. Hi. How are you doing? Look at her. You okay? Don't sign. Don't even. What's your name? Don't even do that. Right there. You see the bald guy? That's where you're going. I don't know. I've never. They're going to start crying. That's not going to get you out of nothing, bitch. That that's that that ain't gonna get you out of it. This ain't you know. Hey, what's your name? You're you're. Let's cook. start with that. Let's start with that. We don't want to hear that. Okay. What about you doing crack? I can understand you over here drinking. You, you drinking and got a little too much. You know, a little too much to drink. You a little buzz tipsy, or you might have been smoking some tree or something. Bitch, you over here doing crack, bro? Come on. Who what's does just does crack? crack? What's your name? Can you talk to us so we can help you? Do you know what her name is? What's going on today? Can you talk to us? What did you take today? What did you take? Huh? Some crack. Some crack? Some crack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> some crack. Alright. When was the last time you used? Nah, okay. bitch, that was an hour drugs ago. On you right now? No, no. If is that. it true that you smoke crack because you want to overdose and that's what they're telling us. Is that true? It's okay if that if that's true. We just want to know how we can help you. Man, you do what? Hmm? And fools want to be not hired just because you got a little weed in your system. But she can get hired if she over here smoking crack. Crazy. Somebody that can come here and talk with you and, and we can get you in touch with the good resources. We need you to be honest with us. Who is that? Uh, that's just my partner as well as the, the staff. You're not in any trouble with yeah. us. We just want to make sure that you're okay and that we can get you help if you need it. That's the thing. They tell you you're not in trouble. Bitch, you are in trouble. <laughs> you're, okay. All these people are under your care and you over your own crack. In vanilla extract. <laughs> I don't know what the vanilla extract got to do with it, but... Hey, do you mind if I look through your purse for your ID? Make sure there's no weapons or anything in there? Do you mind if I do that? No, she got a little... She got a little work... She got, she, got, she, got, she got some work in there. 
You don't want me to do that? Yeah, because you got some work in there. Why is that? I'm being nothing but nice to you. you look like it. Well, thanks. Damn. Yeah, let's not. I mean, no. We're just here to help. Like I said, you're not, you're not in any trouble. We just want to make sure that you're okay. Damn, it says she, he, she I said he I'm looked like a rooster like sucker. <laughs> walk around. You are. Can we, can we at least get you up and then walk outside so we can get you assessed by oh, medical? Yeah, and I heard that's what your plan is. Can we do that? I'm asking you. Because we got fire department here that want to check you out. Hey, what's going on? Smoke crack about 20, 30 minutes ago. Can I your post, please? As officers attempted to speak with her, she became uncooperative, insulting them, and eventually launched a projectile of saliva in their direction. Hell no. How about we take you got me. Step at a time and let's just get Bitch, you're not about to spit on me, bro. You're not about to spit on nothing over here, man. I'd have to call you. Yes, look, man, y'all please send a female officer down here so she can whoop her ass. Because <laughs> I, I, I can't pull my, I can't do it, but you can you know what I'm we gonna turn these cams off real quick y'all can squabble up in the back real quick yeah you can feel me get you medically clear that's you got it. me that's disrespect best look at her system. look at her hey Ew. we can't have you doing that okay do not do that again do you understand me yeah he's like i don't know how y'all put no up with this shit should ever eat processed food that dog Every looks sad as hell bro <laughs> No Man, police better than me, bro. Cause look at the shit they gotta deal with. Look at this. Look at look at this is what they gotta deal with, bro. Shootouts, speed chases, people RIPing, getting getting popped in like pff, drunk people, cracked out people, drug heads, this and that. Man, hell no. Y'all y'all different, bro. Y'all different. Y'all definitely be one of them. He looks stressed. Do you want to go to the hospital with these gentlemen and get checked out? Yes or no? No. Well, you can go to jail then. We would like to just make sure you're doing okay, all right? I'm fine. Can they ch check your vitals here no. and then we don't have to go to the hospital? Ugly ass. The worst thing that could possibly happen is something happens, you know, when we're bad, when we're away, and some bad happens, and then hope maybe you stop breathing, and then we have to come back, and then it's worse by then. We don't want that to happen. The hell? Just let me go. Well, we're not gonna go anywhere. Just let me go. Stop. Okay. Stop touching me. Relax. Just relax. Okay. Why'd she just fall out in the chair like that? Over. Spitting at any of us. Do not. I swear if you spit on me again, you're slap this shit. Stop touching me! Stop! You're hurting me! Nah, Stop. you're hurt. Nah, you're getting hurt. I am calm. Your arm hurt because you just outside, fell out okay? the chair like a Let's dumbass. Let's get your heart rate checked out. Let's go outside. We're not going to sit in here. Stop. We're just trying to make sure you're okay, alright? Stop talking! First day on the job and look at you. Getting escorted out by the police and the fire department because you want an OD on crack and vanilla extract. I'm going to keep throwing that in there because that sounds crazy. What what does the vanilla extract do? D does it give you like a feeling of like drunk or like what? Me! Okay, can you get your hands off of... Can you, can you control yourself? Yeah, okay. I can. Sorry. Okay, well, we're not, we're not going to do that. Grab your arm. Sissy pants. Okay. Sissy pants? We got you. You want to try and scoot up a little bit on the car? No! This is more comfortable for you. Look at you. A spit hood was quickly placed over her face, yet she made another attempt to spit at an officer with some landing on him. Ew. Mm, hell no, nah, bro. Mm -mm. Yeah, she's already shown us that she can't, she can't control her saliva. Yo! Yeah. That's why we do that. Looking dumb as hell. 
Look like at you with a spit bag over your head again, again, carted out the damn nursing home. And that's who we supposed to be having look after our people. Man. Thank you. And she's 26 at this point. Um, I'll ride. Okay. Nice to just jockey cars. While en route to a local hospital, she maintained her level of combative behavior, screaming, attempting to remove the spit hood, and spitting at the officer numerous times during the entire ride to the hospital. Upon arrival, she had to be secured to the bed in four-point restraints. During this process, she tried to bite officers while they adjusted her handcuffs. Damn, bitch, Additionally, you she managed to slip out of the spit hood and successfully <laughs> spat at both a nurse and the officers with her saliva making contact with them. Nurse is a sock the shit. Nurse it a fight on her. She was there for an interview. I think so. We could smoke crap about 20 to 30 minutes before we got there. She said she wanted to die. That's why she smoked crap. Okay. She's all cooperative. Didn't really want to talk to us. Started spatting at us, and now we're here. Did she call you guys then? The staff there. She was there for a new hire orientation. Oh, for the love. Bitch, you just there for. He bitch wasn't even on the first. He was there for orientation, bitch. They was gonna they was gonna be working with you the whole day. They was gonna be showing you around. They're gonna show you the ins and outs, have you meet all the folks. You wasn't even for real on your first day alone. You okay? Yeah. Didn't get it in your eyes or anything. Oh, she was got the spit. I didn't know she should probably just tell me you for discharge yeah. all the fluids since she's done it three times. Yeah. Nah, this you isn't making anything any better for you. Getting more charges. You don't have to like us. You don't have to be friends. So yeah. we don't have to we be have friends. To process with her way. This process so we're going through. It's so. better just to relax and just lay back and yeah, talk to Yeah, go of me! Well, you can't because you, you can't. keep acting like that. Like, you gotta stop. <gasps> just lay there and relax. The we can let go of you, but you just gotta lay there and relax. Oh, well, I will! You want me to turn some TV on for you? Yeah. You like TV? Yeah. You prove to us that you can sit there and relax? Yes. I know you've we'll requested us to take the spit hood off, so, but you haven't proved to us that you can put your saliva in your mouth. <gasps> Sorry. Hospital staff eventually had to administer medication to manage yeah, her I was about to say, give her that Narcan or some shit. <laughs> yeah, chill her out. <laughs> Take a little nap or something. Want the lights down? There you go. Later, a search of her purse revealed an empty bottle of Kroger Pure Vanilla Extract. The officer was aware that individuals intentionally consume large amounts of pure vanilla extract for its intoxicating effects due to its high alcohol concentration. When quest So we pull, we we pulling up vanilla extract now. That's that's the wave, bro. You learn something new every day. I did not know that's what was going down. For its intoxicating effects due to its high alcohol concentration. When questioned, she admitted to drinking it, revealing a suicidal intent. Subsequent blood tests revealed a blood alcohol concentration level of 0 0.039. Damn. Look at her. Ultimately, the 36-year-old female was charged with felony discharging bodily fluids at an officer, times two, and misdemeanor disorderly conduct. She was released a few days later on a $1,500 signature bond. However, a few months afterward, the bond was modified to $10,000 due to her non-compliance with Wisconsin Community Service. In the end... Oh, so they was trying to give you a little... They was trying to work with your dumb ass. Little one, one uh, 1500 what that 150 on the bond or whatever? What, what's that? Is signature bond? I don't know what the signature bond is, but is it 10? Is she got to pay the 10,000 or she got to pay a thousand? But she need a charge for going up in there and putting them elderly people at, at risk. She was only found guilty for one count of discharging bodily fluids. The remaining charges were dismissed, but read in. That's Considering crazy. this case, and another where she was convicted of one count of discharging bodily fluids as a prisoner, she was sentenced to one and a half years of jail, along with two years of extended supervision. 
want a deeper look into the channel or craving a I guess she she the worst of the worst, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, bro. Hit the comments, notification bell, man. Stay safe out there, bro. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Prayed up. I said paid up. Stay, we'll get stay paid up. Stay prayed up. Be thankful. Be grateful for what you got. And be nice to the people around you, man. Simple. Drink your water. Take your vitamins. Brush your teeth. Floss daily. Wash your ass. Use deodorant. I'll catch you on the next vid.